Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you are here. Today's video has been highly, highly requested. I have said I'm gonna do it like 10 times, but I had to like actually collect my thoughts and think about this thoroughly because there's like obvious things that go on with an Apple Watch, but then there's like things that are like, maybe you don't know that I had to like think of and like, oh my God, I use this, I could tell them that. So I had to really, really think about it, utilize some of the things I'm gonna tell you guys about on my unit. And yeah, so I'm here to make it for you guys. I'm here to talk about it. First thing I'm gonna do is make my favorite Home Chef meal for you guys because I talk about Home Chef all the time and I use it every day, like all the time. So I'm gonna make that first because I'm gonna work out after I film this. So meal, Apple Watch tips, workout, <laughs> A little bit of everything. That's kind of how my videos are. You guys know how it is. So I am so glad you're here. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you comment, show some love, share the video, show a friend, spread the love. All right, guys. So my favorite home chef meal is the Fontina and Caramelized Onion Flatbread. I've made this several, several times. It is so delicious, so, so good. So we are going to make that. If you guys don't know anything about Home Chef, I order Home Chef probably twice a month. They send us four meals a week, so it makes cooking really, really easy. They have all the instructions laid out for you perfectly, and I recommend reading them thoroughly before you start, or you might mess something up, like me. I like to do that a lot. So we're going to go ahead and make this one. They actually have now 26 meal options a week and that is so 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 amazing because you have lots of different options to choose from hang on let me get this out for you guys okay so as I was saying everything is perfectly laid out for you guys I am obsessed 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 with their flatbreads if you've never had one of their flatbreads you are not living it is the perfect like pre-workout which is what it's gonna be for me um, yeah, so I'm gonna make that really quick. I'm gonna show you guys just kind of how it comes in the bag like this. Everything is pre-made, really pretty. You just throw these in your fridge, super, super easy. I've got my flatbreads. I've got my fresh parsley. I've got my fresh arugula. Everything's fresh, beautiful. My beautiful tomatoes. Onion, whole milk. My Fontina cheese. And my, this is sherry cooking wine. That goes in the ingredients, the little when you're, when you're making the sauce thing, and then I have cornstarch. So, I'm gonna go ahead and make this really quick and show it to you guys and I'm done. Like I said, Home Chef is incredibly convenient. It's like my favorite thing ever to do because we just put them in our fridge and make them. I can't express to you enough how much I can't stand cooking. When I get off of a 12 or I'm going in for a 12, like just like thinking about it is difficult, so. <laughs> that sounds so bad, like I sound so lazy, but it's the truth, like you're busy and you know, when you have an active lifestyle, you just want convenience. So having the options that they give us like 26 meals a week, um, different options, you can pause it for a week. You don't have to get it every week. We certainly don't because sometimes I like just chicken, you know, like sometimes I like chicken and rice. That's what I do. Chicken, rice, veggies, basic stuff. So it's really, really easy. Um, I'm going to show you guys this meal, but I do have a discount code for you guys. If you're interested, you can use my code down below as always. You can get $80 off your first four orders, which is 20 each order, if that makes sense. So make sure you give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like at the end because it's bomb. And yeah, then we'll get into your Apple Watch tips. Yeah. favorite meal from Home Chef. I kind of have a lot, Sam can have some later, but favorite, favorite meal. Make sure you click in the description box below. I'll pin it as well in the comments. If you would like to save $80 and order Home Chef and try it, you definitely are missing out if you have never tried it before. I'm gonna eat this really fast and we'll talk Apple Watch stuff. 
All right, friends, here we are. I'm going to talk to you guys all about my Apple Watch, everything I have learned with it, hack-wise for nursing, um, health-wise in general, just what I utilize on this watch. I do have a Series 3, so if you are looking for a Series 4 video, this will probably be like very similar, but not... I mean, I don't have a Series 4, so I don't know everything about it. Um, first, logistics-wise, just as I am a nurse, I am RNBSN. I do work on an internal medicine infectious disease floor. So my watch is utilized in some of the dirtiest conditions, as you may agree if you are a nurse with me. Um, the band that I use right here, I will link it down below in the description box. This is from Amazon. I absolutely love this one, and I will tell you why. Specifically, the holes on this band are what makes this work for me as an RN. Um, if you know, um, on the floor, you're constantly washing your hands, your wrists are constantly exposed to, you know, dirt, poop, pee, like, uh, bodily fluids, medicines, like there's just all kinds of things that you're going to be exposed to with your hands. So you're constantly washing your hands. The watch is always on my left wrist. So what I do typically is... I will either pull the watch off to wash my hands if it's pretty extensive and goes like up my arm or I will um, keep it on because the holes on this band makes it really, really easy to not irritate my skin. Um, if I am, if I do feel like my watch was exposed to something, I do take one of the bleach wipes outside of the rooms or in the rooms and I will bleach the band, which it has held up really, really well for me with that. Um, they do have lots of different colors with this as well. so. This is the band I recommend if you are a nurse, just because it lets your skin breathe underneath. You're able to wash your hands, you know, scrub in, scrub out, whatever. It works really, really well. So that is the band that I currently have. I do also have just the regular flat band, but I find that this one is just way better for my skin. So that is band wise. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, and I will actually put this on for you and show it to you, um, is this band right here. This is kind of a more stylish band if you're interested in something like that. Actually, I don't know where, oh, the other half. <laughs> um, this is a more stylish band that I will switch in and out. I definitely love, you know, looking cute, um, but I also love my watch. So what I will do is if I'm going to go out on the town or something, that sounds so weird. If I'm going to go and do something, I will actually switch out my watch bands and I will show you guys how I do that. It's pretty easy, even though I just kind of kicked my camera. Um, you just kind of slide these out and you will put this one in. This is also Amazon. I will link it for you as well. Slide this band in and it's kind of like a double swoop watch. So just to show you guys what it looks like, you wrap it. It's a wrap. Let me put this on quick and I'll show you. Okay, I kind of have mine on just a little bit tight, but this is what it looks like. It's way cute. It's a wrap around. Um, I'll kind of stem back so you guys can see it just a little bit better, but it's kind of just like a pretty, pretty watch band that you can switch out and still wear your watch. I have mine kind of tight because I like it to actually like be getting what's going on on my hand and alarm me and everything but yeah this is just another option um nursing wise or not when you're off the unit or when you're on the unit i just really really like this option to um switch out the bands so i have that one i have this one and i have just like a plain one but like i said i prefer the holes one on the unit all right, so first things first is my watch setup. So when I am working, I really, really like focus on having my watch set up a certain way. Let me enter my code here really quick. So this is my main screen. So I have my calendar date right there. I constantly am being asked what day it is. And if I don't know what day it is, I mean, I literally don't have the time. So all I do is flip up my watch and it's right there for me. I have the temperature outside because Honestly, this is set up for my patients because my patients ask me time, date, temp, outside, you know, what's going on, that kind of thing. So I have the date, I have the time right there, military time. Obviously, I work in a hospital and that's how we do things. And I have the temperature right there outside as to where I am. So that's perfect for the hospital. For things down here, I have my activity level right here and my heart rate. Whoops, that's my heart rate. That's not what I wanted to go to. Um, I have my heart rate right here. Whoops. How do I go back? Whoopsies. My heart rate on the right side, because you're able to pick different columns. I'll kind of zoom in here. I have my heart rate right there, and then I have in the middle, I have my activity. So I will click on that just for you guys to see that. I don't have any activity today. I just put my watch on, but I have like my move goal exercise stand. So I'm able to see that while I'm working and do stuff. So that is my middle one. And then over here, I have my text messages with when I'm working just because obviously I can't have my phone on me all the time. So that is really, really helpful to have that to just peek at. And then up here, I scroll down and it will like give me my notifications and such. But um, next thing is scrolling up. I'm just kind of giving you guys a tour of the watch up. When I scroll up, I have Wi-Fi. I have find my iPhone, which I will show you guys. My phone's right here. You're going to see it light up in just a second. 
So my iPhone is pinging right now. That helps find your iPhone, which is a great feature on the watch. I like that a lot. I do lose my phone. Um, charged, obviously, I have it on no sound ever because I don't ever want this thing alarming in the hospital. Um, that's different if you have like alarms and timers, which I'll set that up here for you guys in a second. I'll explain that. Um, I have do not disturb on there. If I have that on, it up my watch if I don't want it to. I don't ever really have that on because my watch is on do not disturb or like no sound in itself. So like I never get really irritated about anything popping up on my watch. Um, and then this is the water feature. I'm not even sure what that like face thing is. I really don't know. Um, this is the water feature where if you're like, if you wash your hands in the hospital or if you use it in the shower, you click that and it's going to ask you to go like this and it shoots all of the water out of the watch, which is great. It is water resistant. It's not like you can go swimming with it and like keep it underwater for long periods of time, but it is water resistant. And then over here I have a flashlight. I do use this a ton when I'm in my patient's rooms, um, as well as my phone if I need, if I had my phone on me. But this, all I do is click this right here and you can have um, like a light up one, you can have the red one or just this one. This is when I'm going in and like checking my pumps or I am going in to clear the pumps or I need to do something with a med or um, just peeking in on my patients. I will literally turn this on on my watch so that I don't have to one wake them up to make a distraction for their roommate or if they have a roommate or whatever it's just an easy little feature to use so that is a tip right there um, airplane mode and um, that feature right there which I don't care about so that is my first thing to talk about so number one thing in the hospital obviously is vitals so what do I use my watch for when it comes to vitals well I can tell you the time right there but most of the time I'm counting respirations of some kind right that's typically what you're gonna do so I swipe my right watch right and this is my clock right here so I do use this I will um, have my watch like this and if I'm gonna count respirations or if something's going on with my patient and I want to do manual pulse whatever I do flip my watch to this and I can stand there and count the respirations on my watch I have that right next to this one because I need easy access I want to just be able to swipe and have that right there um, sometimes it's hard to find the clocks in the patient's room so this is really convenient to have on my watch um, going off of this um, is the alarm clock so let me see here if I can find it not really alarm clock a timer is kind of what I was talking about um, click this button here on the side and you can pull up your main activities here the number one thing I'm gonna look at when I'm in the hospital not number one but this is something I use a lot is the timer so if I have a timed medication or I have an IV bag that I want to make sure I'm gonna be able to switch it out fast and maybe I don't want it to beep at my patient because they're sleeping and I just need to flip out the bags you can set up a timer here like you can look on your pump and see how long it has to infuse and you can set up a timer so if I have an antibiotic running that's for 30 minutes which is like 95% of my antibiotics I'm gonna set a custom timer for and you can do this on the side here too I'm gonna set it up for 25 minutes to beep at me and that gives me five minutes to get in that room and either stop the alarm or change the medication or do something in the room that I need to do uh, it just kind of is a really good way to stay on top of your stuff if you have a um, uh, lab that you need to get at a certain time that is when I'm going to go to my alarm clock which let me find that here, perfect, alarm. So I have lots of things that go on with my patients on a night shift or a day shift that I need to pay attention to. For example, um, a lot of times I need to get stat labs at 4 a.m. So what I will do is set my alarm for about three, typically 3.30 is when I go in and start getting my labs. If I have multiple stats, I'll start at like three. But you can set the timer to set it at 3.30 and that alarm will go off on your wrist. It will vibe at you and that reminds you that you have something you need to do. Most of the time I know what it is, so I don't really label them in any way, um, but you do have the option to label it if you would like to. I, You can talk into it, see it's like taking what I'm saying, but you could write in there, here I'll show you guys, stat labs. That didn't work out, but um, it's gonna go in as salads for stat labs, but I'm gonna know what that is. So you go back and your alarm's set, you're ready to go, you have that set for your thing. So that is just a great feature to have on your watch instead of having your phone out, you know, it's just an easy thing to have. We also, we do carry phones around on my floor though, like at my hospital, we use them. That's how we communicate with each other, but I personally like using my watch so I don't get things mixed up with my communication with my coworkers and, um, people in the hospital. So I use my watch for this. So I set multiple alarms a night. 
It just kind of depends on what's going on and what I need to do, but that is an example for you right there. I need to make sure I got that off or I literally would have woke up at 3.30. Um, so going back to the home screen here, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the text message app right here. Uh, every hospital is different, and I will not lie to you and say that I don't ever check my text messages ever. That's not true. I do, but I have them on my watch here. So if my mom needs to text me about something or Sam or there's an emergency, I do have my text right here that I watch, so they will show up and you're able to just, you know, Know, like peek at your phone really quick and put it back down. I'm never texting on my phone like in front of my patients or anything like that, but if you need to quick respond to somebody or have an emergency of some kind, you do have that ability. Um, I sent him a picture of food. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Question mark. So that's able to send right to him on my watch which is great. That's probably my favorite feature on the watch, honestly, is because it's just convenient and nice to have and you're not taking up a lot of time um, getting out your phone or going into the break room if you need to do that. So that is another feature. Um, talked about watch brand variety. Um, something else that pops up on my watch a lot is the Breathe app. So I'm going to show you guys that here. If you click on the circle and you press it in, you can see all of your apps. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can move around with your finger, you can kind of do whatever you want to do. Um, but one of my favorite things is the Breathe app. This pops up a lot during my shift. Oops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. This pops up a lot during my shift and it reminds me to breathe. The reason I like this is because 90% of the time when I'm working, I'm busy. Um, there is that 10% where I'm sitting and I'm charting and I'm not busy. Some nights are slower than others. Some days are slower than others. So this app pops up and it reminds me to breathe. I really, really like it because it's kind of like, hey, like whatever you're doing right now, like take a second, breathe, like you're okay. Like I just like the fact that it pops up on my app. So if you're someone who doesn't like stuff like that, then maybe this is a dumb tip for you. But this is nice mid shift to just kind of be like, hey, like you're doing okay. Like it's just a good reminder to have. So that's the breathe app. It turns on and you can just kind of, um, breathe it like you can do different durations you can turn it up to two minutes three minutes four minutes whatever it's just a really really nice way to breathe and take a second I think the next tip I would tell you guys, again, I kind of mentioned the water resistant, but it is water resistant. So you're able to wash your hands and just kind of shake off the watch, use the water crown to shoot it out the sides. Um, that's a really convenient feature that you don't have to worry about, like not being like having to take your watch off every single time you do stuff like that's a pain in the ass. So that's nice. Um, the other thing I was going to tell you guys is the calendar, which is... Let me find it here. Mine actually just kind of pops up and tells me like what's going on. Like I'm not gonna show you guys stuff, but um, it'll pop up and tell you like what events you have today. You can get notifications about it. This is how I kind of keep track of my shifts. Even on my watch when I'm not at work, like it will pop up and remind me. Same with my phone, like that's a, an ability that I have on the watch and I really like that being able to quick peek at my watch while I'm at work and see what's going on. Okay, the next feature I wanted to talk to you guys about, and this is kind of not related to nursing, but is the Move app and what I do when I work out and what I use. All I do is click on the side here if I'm gonna do a workout and I will go into my workout section here and you can pick what you're gonna do. So there's strength training, which is my typical one, or high intensity interval training. Um, I do occasionally do the running one, but it's not, I'm typically using like my Under Armour app, so it just kind of automatically does it. But all you do is you click on the goal you're going for, and I always say open goal because I'm not doing anything specific and it'll three, two, one you, and it will um, keep track of your workout. So all you do then is slide, swipe, oh my gosh, swipe to the right and you can end it, whatever, you can save it or not. Um, it just kind of depends, but that is, that is how I keep track of my workouts and then I also keep track of them in my phone. You do have that ability. I really, really love that about the watch. It's probably my favorite thing. I kind of feel naked at the gym without it at this point. So highly recommend tracking your workouts. You get a better idea of how well you're doing, um, how far you're pushing yourself, et cetera. Um, what else was I going to tell you guys? I do have my mail on here so you can get messages or you can get emails. I do get work emails through here, so I really enjoy that feature. Again, I mentioned I mentioned to you guys about the weather. Patients constantly are asking me what it's like outside like all the time, so I literally just flip up my watch. The other feature I was gonna tell you guys about is the My Water app. I haven't used this in a while, but I normally would keep 100, I wanna try and drink 120 ounces a day, and this app kinda helps you keep track of that. So you just would click on add, and you can add what you drank, whether it's water, coffee, tea, whatever you drank, and it will keep track of it for you, and you can keep track of it on your phone as well. Um, that is also something that I keep on my main screen here just so that I have that. But those are the main things, you guys. I know that those are really simple tips, but maybe you learned something you didn't know. Um, maybe I helped you out with something, but that's basically what I use my watch for in the hospital. And um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. 
All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned something. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't, but that is what I use my watch for, and I absolutely love it. Would highly recommend it to you a million times over. I would like not live without this in the hospital. It's my lifeline. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you thumbs up the video, leave a comment, share. Love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away.